Hey, John Summit from simpleprogrammer.com, and today I've got a topic that will be of interest to you if you are looking for a new job or you're thinking about looking for a new job in the future. So, today I want to talk about the quickest way that you can pass a job interview, and it's not going to be quite what you think. So I'm going to paint a picture for you. Let me give you a scenario here. Let's say that you walk into a job interview and you know you shake the interviewer's hand and as you're shaking his hand he kind of looks at you for a second and he says, I, I think I've seen your picture before. Oh I know, you know what, I read your blog. I, I, I actually re read a couple of articles that you wrote and I remember seeing your profile on your blog. That's, that's pretty awesome. Guess what, guess what happens then? How, well, well, let me ask you this question. How do you think that interview is going to go? You think it's going to go pretty good? You think you're going to get that job? Yeah, you're probably going to, unless you totally screw up the technical part of the interview, unless you're totally incompetent, you're probably going to get the job at that point. Especially if you're stacked up against other people that were equally as qualified, right? Because here's, here's a secret to hiring and to interviews and job, mostly, mostly interviewers hire people or recommend for hire people that they like. So the biggest thing that you can do to influence your ability to get a job is to make the interviewer like you. And you can do that during the interview. Sure, if you're a charismatic, charming person, you can go into the interview and you can charm their socks off. But most of us don't practice interviewing. In fact, most software developers and programmers Hey, most of us are introverts. We're, we're not really social people. Now, that doesn't mean all of us, but I'm just saying, making the generalization here because we, we know that it's generally true. So, you're probably not the best at doing an interview. You, you might be, but even if you were, let's say even if you are, what's the way that you can make an interviewer like you before you get to the interview? See, this is kind of the key. This is the quickest way. You know, I'm not saying a regular interview process that you can't just cold walk into an interview and get the job. I've done that before. A lot of most most developers do. But I'm going to give you a secret weapon that you can use. So let's think about this. Let's think back. You know, in that case that that scenario I gave you, it was it was because of a blog. Now I, you know, how much I tell you to get a blog, right? You got to get a blog. In fact, if you don't have a blog. Go right now to devcareerboost.com. Go buy my How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer package. Yeah, I'm plugging it here. But it's really that important because that's going to be huge. You're going to be able to learn how to brand yourself and market yourself and build a blog. And that's going to, going to be a huge thing for you that's going to easily pay back the price of that course. Okay, end of my plug. But the, the, the key thing ab about that is if you have a blog and you're blogging regularly, even if the interviewer hasn't read your blog, which if you put it on your resume, right, it, there's a pretty good chance they're going to click it. So, so you can get it right ahead of the, there. And if you've got good stuff on there, right, then, then they're probably going to read some of it. So they're, they're already kind of going to be pre-interviewing, except you can't screw it up when they're reading your blog, right? You can't be nervous because they're reading your stuff. But aside from that, Right? If they happen, if you have a blog and you're able to make it successful, and like I said, I can show you how to do that in my course, but then you have a, a higher chance of running in interviewers that know who you are. Now, it's not just blogging. You can go out there and speak. You could do YouTube videos like this one, right? You could do a lot of different things to get your name out there. And again, like I said, one last plug. I do cover all that in my, on my how to market yourself as a software developer package. But, the important thing is that you figure out some way to to pre-fill the interviewer's mind with you and what you know. So that that's that's one way, right? And and that that is probably the most effective way is to to build it, get your name out there, and build a name for yourself. But another way, think about this: is let's suppose that you want to apply for a certain company, right? And you know that some of the developers at that company have blogs. So what happens if you start reading their blogs and commenting on their blogs? Okay, now what's going to happen? Well, they're probably going to get to start to know you after time because I, I know that I recognize people that comment on my blog frequently. So they're probably going to like you as well. I like people who comment on my blog, especially when they add insightful things, not just spamming you know comments just to to get attention, right? 
then you're going to already have someone who knows you at that company, most likely who, who interviews you when you apply for a developer position, developers, right? So that's, that's one major way. That's a, it's, a, it's a way to hit a home run there. And probably you can get a referral as well if you go that route. Uh, let's say that the hiring manager, let's say that he, uh, you, you, you do a little bit of research online. You know, let's not call this stalking, but you can use social media and you can use Google to find out a lot about a person that works at a company. And, and you find out that he attends some club or some meeting every week. Well, hey, there's, there, there's it's a free country, right? You could go and, and join that club and join that meeting and just happen to be in the same club or meeting as him. You know, you don't have to say that that's, that you did that, but but there's a lot of ways you can set this up ahead of time. If you're thinking ahead of time, to make it so that by the time you walk into the interview, the interviewer already knows you and already likes you. Right? That's the key thing. Because if you do that, it's it's so much easier to get the job to pass the interview. So quickest way to pass an interview, I'm telling you right now, is to have the interviewer know you and like you ahead of time. Just think out of the box, think of some ways that you can make that happen. If you have another connection, someone who knows someone who knows that person, you can make the introduction or you can get, uh, uh, you know, just meet them ahead of time and, and talk about the company before you're in that interviewing setting. Whatever you can do to make that happen, that's gonna give you a lot more success. So if you like this video, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel here and I will give you a new video every single week. I've been doing this for over a year now. And, uh, and like I said, if you, if you are interested in this, if you like this concept of marketing yourselves, of, of getting your name out there, that's gonna help you to uh, you know, get a job, job interview, uh, go ahead and go to devcareerboost.com. Check out my course. I've got, I've got interviews with top software developers on there. I've got a lot of useful information. I've sold hundreds of copies of it so far. Not a single refund up to this point. Everyone's been very pleased with it, and I do offer a, a complete money-back guarantee on that. So enough plugging for me. I uh, hope you liked this video. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you again next week. Good luck with your interviews.